welcome back to my channel it's me your girl Shanice hi how you doing or whatever so today I filmed this icy blue vibe for you today which I'm really into um, I used two new palettes the elf retro uh, paradise palette I kind of give you a little review towards the end it's fire that's all you need to know and it's really affordable so I think it's worth checking out. Elf has really stepped up their game packaging wise. I guess trying to keep up with all the competition. Then we have Godot's Juvia's Place, The Warriors 3 uh, by Juvia's. Super colorful, very pigmented, as usual. Fire. We also talked about a couple of other things um, in the uh, Elf Paradise, Retro Paradise palette. And we also talked about a new foundation, which is also Juvia's Place, but a different color. If you guys remember, I tried the other color Kano and it was way too late and now we tried Angola and let's just say she's a perfect match. So if you guys are interested to see how I got this look, please keep on watching. So we're going to get started on the eyes. As usual, whenever I have new products that I'm in itching to try, I don't have any idea what kind of look I'm going to do. I know I want to use blues. And I'm really intrigued by this color here uh, that's called Sea Salt. I'd like to try that. That It's like an iridescent silver blue color. So I definitely want to try that. And this color in the Juvia's Place. This is the uh, Warrior 3 palette uh, by Juvia's Place. I haven't tried it yet. I'm really excited to try it. And I want to use this color here this blue here and I'm also intrigued in using this color here we'll see we'll see what happens we'll see what happens so first things first as usual I'm gonna go in with my angel eyes eye primer and I'm just going to prime my lids especially since we're using blues of course you know um, when I go in with um, color I always put down an actual primer rather than a concealer because the consistency is a little bit thicker so it gives the shadow something to stick to using this morphe um, m173 buffer brush just because it's dense and it pu it pushes in the um, and actually spreads out the eyeshadow primer since it's thicker I just think it works well with a denser brush to give that solid base that we all need for a good eyeshadow look this is a new palette. I have not um, tried it yet. Packaging is fire as usual. Juvia's Place has the best packaging. No African inspired culture inspired. This is what the palette looks like. It's pretty colorful. Nice greens, yellows, pinks, purples, and blues. So we're going to go in with this color here first, which is called Gola. And we're going to put that all over the eye all over. I'm going to go in with the Morphe Times Jaclyn JH32 brush and this is um, a nice fluffy blending brush and I think it's good for whenever I'm going to just blend color all over the eye. I'm going to pack this on and then buff her out. Oh yeah, this is a color. This is beautiful, right? I'm here for her. And for me, like I said, I love to pack the color on, especially for deeper skin tones. I think packing and then blowing everything and blending everything out to the uh, density that you want it to be is best. Uh, just because you get the most color payoff when you're packing. Uh, like this is this is what's considered packing, packing the shadow onto the eye. Rather than going in and immediately blending it all out. You just get the best color payoff. This color is fire wow look at this blue guys wow i'm here for it so now i'm gonna go in with a clean brush and i'm just going to buff 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 this just the top portion of this look not the whole eye just up here i'm just gonna blend this out a little bit more you know what's so crazy is i know everyone had like all these big goals set and you just felt like 2020 was going to be like it and the universe was just like not saying that we still can't accomplish everything that we want to do because 
in my opinion, you still got the power regardless of what's going on in the world. But I just put a damper on like life. No brunches, no parties, no gatherings of any kind. Like, girl. I'm trying to accomplish my goals and still have fun. Like, what the fuck? 2020 was like, nah, you're going to stay in that house and try to achieve those goals without any fun. All work, no play. But I'll be playing next weekend because my bitch is turning 30. <laughs> that's giving me, that's giving me the vibes. That's giving me the vibes. This is the new e.l.f. Retro uh, Paradise palette. Super cute as well. They And the packaging. I'm here for it, e.l.f. I'm here for the new packaging. You guys, you guys are coming through. Okay, you guys are doing some things. Super well priced. I've swatched all of these colors. I haven't used them on my eyes as of yet. But I have swatched them. And this color is Royal Blue. It has the right name. Um, it's pretty... I was, when I was swatching it, it's a lot darker than I thought it was going to be. And I don't want this eye to be that dark. So I'm just using it for a little bit of depth on the outer edge. I'm going to go in with a smaller, this is a small, yeah. I'm going to go in with a smaller blending brush, pick up some of that. And we're just going to blend it on the outer edge of our eye. So we're going to go back into the e.l.f. Retro Paradox palette and we're going to use this color here, Sea Salt, and we're going to put that all over everything. going to go in with my new favorite liner. This is the Lollipop Liner by Beauty Bakery. This is a felt tip liner. Best liner I've ever used in my life. I love it. This style liner. Best ever. liner spire mix it's just it's just so good it's just i don't know what else to say besides it's good i just i don't know what else to say besides it's good all right let's pop on these lashes and then we're gonna start on the face which i'm excited to do okay lashes are complete we're gonna finish off the rest of the eye layer and now we're gonna start on the face which i'm excited to do because we got some new things happening all right, so I've been using the Juvia's Place um, foundation, and I had the color Kano, but I felt like it was a little too light. So now today we're going to try the color Angola and see how it goes, because now when you go in the store, there's no samples, there's nothing else. You can't really try anything, so you have to guess with the pictures. So I went one color darker, and the undertones are a little bit different. I believe these undertones are olive neutral. So we'll see how it goes. And we're going to try it with the Primer Glow Oil, the Primer Glow Oil, also from Elf's new um, Retro Paradise collection. I've used this already, not with makeup, only by itself. And I do like it. I like the finish that it gives my skin. However, I don't like the way it smells. It doesn't really smell like anything. Maybe that's what it is. It's not that it smells bad. It just doesn't have a scent. I wish I had like a little, you know, Maybe coconut scent or something, you know. Something. Give me a little something. So, we're going to put this on our face first. Just a few little droplets. And then I'm also going to use it again when I put my foundation on. So, I'm not going to put too much on right now, but it's all, since I'm going to use some more with my foundation. a nice little healthy sheen glow glow from within doesn't make you seem shiny 
fire. So we're going to try it with this foundation and see how we like it and see if this foundation is a hit or a miss. I'm just going to put it directly on the brush. Then I'm going to go back with the oil. We're going to buff this all together. This color is way better. Do you guys see that? It's almost per it's perfect. It's not almost perfect. It's perfect. I want my skin to have a nice, healthy, dewy look today. So that's the goal. Nice and dewy. Who would have thought I'd be into dewy skin? I was so anti-dew just because of how oily my skin was. But now that I've uh, found techniques that work for me and also have been controlling my oil better just with uh, the skincare product choices that I've been making. So I'm like, yo, I can be a dewy girl or whatever. You feel me? It's dewy for real. It totally changed because this foundation is like a velvet matte foundation is the perfect way to describe it it's a very soft velvety finish once you put it on normally and it's really thick this is giving you dupe so we're going to go on with the juvia's place concealer in the color 12 and we're going to conceal Bring it right up to my nose. And we're going to clean up this, this part of our shadow with this concealer. We're going to go in with a uh, Real Technique sponge and blend this out. And I'm using this one just so the shape that I have of this sponge when I go up under here, when I go up under the outer edge of my eye, um, it's easy to do because of the shape of the sponge. See that concealer pretty much erased that extra blue that I had around my eyeshadow, which is another thing that I really like about this concealer. Because some concealers, they don't have the coverage that you need if you're gonna use it to do a cleanup. Um, either the color will mix and change the concealer or it just doesn't give you the coverage that you need. Change the color of the concealer or it just doesn't give you the coverage that you need. So I'm going to go in with this Sephora uh, Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer in the color Hot Cocoa and I'm going to use this to contour. I'm placing it a little bit higher because when I blend it, I'm going to blend down. So I didn't want to place it too high and then bring uh, my contour down too low to a place that I don't want it to be. And I love this concealer. It's not too harsh. It gives me the color that I, I'm looking for. And it blends out really nicely. Really nice finish. I'm going to set my highlighted areas with the I Am Magic setting powder in the color Gobi. Just into the skin. This is my, my preferred way of setting. I used to do it uh, the other way where you would pick up a whole bunch of powder, push it into your skin, let it bake a little bit. But this, this way gives me... A little bit of a better finish that I prefer. Now I'm going to bronze with um, my good old Holy Grail Prime Beauty bronzer in the color Chocolate Liddy. Going to pat this right over where we contoured. Okay, so we're going to finish up the rest of the under eye. I'm going to pick up a little bit more of that powder. Just in case I get any fallout, I'm just going to push it right under my eye, like so. 
Now I'm gonna try this LA Girl Neon Eyeliner, this Shockwave. I've never tried their liners before, so I'm a little intrigued. I saw the color and I was like, hmm. 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 So let's see what happens. I'm gonna line my waterline with this. She did what I needed her to do. So now I'm gonna pick up the blue shadow that we used all over our lid, the color Gobi. And I'm gonna smoke that under my lower lash line. I think I'm gonna add some shimmer too, but we're gonna see what happens first with this. Yeah, I think I want some shimmer. But we're not gonna use the same shimmer that was on. We're not gonna use the sea salt. We're gonna use Congo. Congo. Welcome to Congo, my friends. The motherland. Is Congo a place or a drum? I think Congo's a place. I hope it's a place. Okay, let's dust away this extra powder. I see, I see, haters wanna fight me. <laughs> so whenever I do cooler looks, I like to use the Desi Times Katie Dose of Colors light, uh, highlighter in the color Fuego. It's still a gold, but I don't know, for some reason on me, it seems a little cooler. I'm gonna spray my face. And while it's still damp, we're gonna highlight. See, it's gold, but it's just, I don't know how to explain it. It's just a little cooler on me. So it works well when I do cooler shadow looks, in my opinion. She going with or whatever. So I'm gonna go in with my new favorite. Um, pencil for my lip. Give her a little sharpen because she's a little dull because I be using her. And this is the Lip Bar Straight Living. This is a brown lip liner. The perfect brown lip liner for my skin tone. Pouring with the I Love Serahi times color pop. Uh, this color is Sueno de Coco. It's a nice smooth lip nude. We're gonna gloss. I'm gonna go in with the lip bar. I think this color is called Miss Independent. I think. This nude is a little bit more nude. So let's set this face. I'm gonna use the e.l.f. setting dewy mist spray. I believe this is coconut. Um, and since we're we're gonna we're staying on track with the dewy, the dewy vibes. So here we have the final look, and I'm into it. I like it a lot. I hope you guys do too. So my Thoughts on this palette, the two colors that I used, loved it. Uh, easily blended out, the pigment is there. The sea salt color is beautiful. Um, I would say duochrome, is that the way you would say it, duochrome? Because it has the purples, blues. Um, it has the, uh, the purples and the blues in there for you. As you can see on my, on my eyelids. So I feel like it would be a good topper if you were using even purple. Um, and of course, good old Juvia's Place, Warrior 3 palette, Fire.
pigment is bomb. Can't wait to see what the rest of these colors look like. I'm really intrigued by the yellow and that green. So maybe we'll play around with those. And I'm intrigued by uh, the green that's in this palette as well. So we can try to do that. Play around with that. All right. And the Elf Paradise Glow Oil. Really good. Um, like I said, I've used it by itself. Today's the first time I tried it with my foundation, and I like the finish. Um, I don't feel too shiny at all. Ooh, my scarf was tied too tight. You guys see those lines? <laughs> um, I don't feel over shiny. It gives me the finish that I'm looking for. My skin looks nice and dewy and hydrated. I'm here for it. She's a winner. So, yeah. This is my icy blue vibes. I hope you guys enjoy this video. You know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, critique, or whatever. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.